In this screencast, we'll look at how to create a graph of numerical data in Excel and how to label it and change the display to suit your needs. So for the numerical data that we have over here, our aim will be to give the graph, a, uh, create a graph, give it a title, label the axes, and perhaps even change the look of the axes and the values that are there. So that's our end product. Let's get rid of that graph and start from the start. So here is our data. The first thing that we might like to do is to do a graph of distance uh, cost on the vertical axis versus distance. Highlight all of the data. It doesn't matter that some of it isn't actually needed. And then go to Insert, Scatter, and uh, choose this option here, Scatter with only markers. And a graph is created for us immediately, but it's not actually the graph that we're after. Now, this chart, if you like, that's here, uh, there are a number of tools across the top that, um, oh, okay, sorry, let's keep the graph highlighted, and there are a number of tools across the top that um, are useful for us. So let's first of all um, uh, select the data that we're actually going to graph. So choosing the select data option up the top, and you can see it's chosen all of the data here. Uh, what's being graphed on this graph you can see is number one, two, three, four, five, six. That's actually not what we want. Let's choose series and remove it and then create our own. So let's add and for the series name, in other words, the, the title of the graph, let's just call it train travel, that should do. For the X values, in other words, what we want along the X axis, we decided we'd choose distance. So over here, um, select and hold down the whole column of the, the values that we want. So that's actually um, from B4 down to B8, and you can see that kind of written there. For the Y values, that's the vertical axis values, that's we decided would be cost. So I'm going to hold down and drag down so that I've highlighted all from D4 down to D8, and then press OK, and then OK again, and our graph should be there, and it's looking good. We don't yet have um, labels for these axes, so maybe we should do that next. So again, highlight the graph uh, and go to Layout and we want to have axis titles. So choose that option. Start with a horizontal axis. Choose more primary horizontal axis options. And it doesn't matter what's there, just go close and you should see that you've presented with the option down the bottom to give it a title. I'm going to call that one distance. Uh, I won't bother doing the vertical one, but you can see how it's done now. Now we do have quite a bit of space out here and it would be nice if we could change the values along the axes. So let's once again in layout choose axes and let's again look at the horizontal axis. And this gives us the values that are being graphed. Now you can see currently the values that are being graphed are from 0 to 800. Perhaps we'd only like it from say 300 to 800. So let's change the minimum value to 300. While we're here also, let's change the look of it. So the style of the, the line at the moment is quite a thin line. Let's make it thicker. And perhaps we might like to change the look to look something like this. And we might also like to change the colour to something different. So this one looks fine. When we close that, you can see that we've changed not only the colour and the thickness, but also the values along that axis. And in a similar way, we can make changes to the, the vertical axis to suit our needs. So when you highlight the graph just by clicking on it, that opens up a lot of chart tools along the top that allow you to make some modifications to the look of your graph. Good luck when you're doing it yourself.